Oh my god, I've actually realized how many games I've put on here. This is gonna be a long ass video. Hello beautiful people! It's the month of June and you know what that means, it's Pride Month. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Mai, I'm Bai, and I like to chat about video games. If you're not so new, lovely to have you back. Welcome back in! Today I thought we'd have a nice wee chat about games that are part of the LGBTQIA community and ones that I think you should be playing during the month of Pride. Now without further ado, let's get started. Let's start off this list with one of my most recent favourites. Unpacking has been on the radar of cosy gamers and LGBTQIA gamers for the last few months. Unpacking is a relaxing puzzle game which tells the story through unpacking and organising the belongings of the protagonist. There's no dialogue, but with each level and box you unpack, you discover more about the life of the person these items belong to. Now, without spoiling the game too much, this game involves some pretty powerful storytelling. These puzzles aren't too difficult which makes it familiar and stress-free and wonderful for the brain. You'll find yourself amused by the music, belongings and connect with her as the year goes by. I found that when playing this game I had a massive sense of nostalgia and I related with the character heavily. And if you're anything like me, you'll find yourself either crying or giddy with excitement by the end. Next we have Wondersong. I fell in love with Wondersong the first time I saw it. This lovely puzzle adventure game stars the Bard, a singer tasked with saving the world from destruction. Instead of the normal sword wielding battle, we are confronted with a song wheel as your weapon of choice. From the music to the Paper Mario-esque visual style, Wondersong is a witty game that gives the same vibes as watching an Adventure Time episode. But what makes this game worthy of being included in Pride Month? Well, I'll have you know, the Bard, like the character Ash in the game, has been canonically confirmed to be non-binary. Another interesting or wonder song is that the song wheel puzzles are accessible. Players who are colorblind or have hearing loss can still enjoy the game because the puzzles have hints on how to solve them. For several years, the Fable series have been amongst my favorite games and failing to mention them would do an injustice to the franchise. I could go on and on about the entire series, but for now, we're going to be talking about Fable 3 in particular. Set 50 years after the events of Fable 2, you play as the hero of Albion's youngest child. To bring peace to the kingdom, you must battle the forces of evil, as well as your tyrannical older brother. The option to fall in love, marry, and sleep with someone of the same sex was originally thought as a coding glitch, but it has since become a series mainstay. As a franchise standard, your alignment changes as the many consequences for the actions you make. You can either choose to be a greedy landlord, you could be kind to your subjects, or you could be like me. You can probably see how far I went. Obviously the best choice. I mean, who knows, maybe you'll find love along the way. Or, in my case, many loves. Sorry, Ian. In addition to marriage, you have the choice of cuddling up with any person you choose. But either way, I will always return to my missus. Celeste tells the story of Madeline, a young woman making her way up Mount Celeste in order to overcome her anxieties and inner conflicts. Like the struggles of mental health and identity, Celeste is a challenge. But with determination and perseverance, you are welcomed with a satisfying and utterly gorgeous game. Down to the tricky platforming, art style and chiptune music, Celeste's story is a relatable one. In all honesty, I have no shame or qualms in saying that I still have yet to finish the game. But thankfully, for those who need it, there is an assist mode available, which I'm sure I will be definitely be putting on as soon as I find the game too difficult for me. Along with the tackling subject of mental health, Maddie Thorson, the game's creator, confirmed after much fan speculation that Madeline is indeed a trans woman. As you progress through the story of Celeste and Madeline's journey, you will come across some many interesting characters, as well as some beautiful visual style of the deserted city. Celeste has always been a game that has been recommended to me, and I've always been a little bit disheartened about the difficulty of it, but I know that my challenge this year is to finally complete it. Now, I may or may not have mentioned Littlewood on my channel before, but it is the cornerstone of my Twitch streams. At first glance, Littlewood is your typical farming sim, but to be honest, it's so much more than that. After waking up with no recollection of what's just happened, you find yourself in the world of Solemn. As the hero, it's your job to rebuild the town and create lasting relationships with the town residents. Now, I am a massive fan of this game. Not only is it cozy, uh, but my community and I have created our own lore where I'm the ultra daddy and, well, um, everyone wants a piece of me especially my darling Willow. Bubsy, however, I'm pretty convinced he's smitten over someone else, but I think that's something that we will discover over time. 
see, creating your own lore can be fun too. When starting the game, there's no gender selection, and similar to the likes of Stardew Valley, you can marry every NPC in the game, aside from one. But I won't mention who, but let's just say they're perfect to me. Oh god, what can I say about Hades? Oh, I feel like when the developers were making this game, it was their goal to make the player as thirsty as possible. I mean, those of you who were in that particular Twitch stream of mine when I was shown a picture of Aphrodite, oh, you know what I mean. I mean, she's just... Oh my god, I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. Anyway, the art style alone is gorgeous, the voice acting is superb, and the gameplay is, is again, challenging, but gratifying. It's definitely not your typical roguelite. As the son of Hades, Zagreus, you must fight your way through the underworld in order to reach Mount Olympus. Along the way, you're given gifts by other gods to help make your time somewhat easier, but let's just say that every time I met a new god, I had to stop and breathe. Aside from maybe Charon, you're not my type. Each time you are killed, you are returned back to the underworld where you can either progress relationships, cuddle big pupper Cerberus, and upgrade your gear. Trust me, with the way that this game is, I'm happy to die over and over again. Finally, how could I make this list without mentioning Tell Me Why? I streamed this game last year during Pride Month when it was free on Steam, and after playing this, I was destroyed. Tell Me Why tells the story of twins, Allison and Tyler, who were brought together 10 years after their mother's death. Similar to other Don't Nod games who are responsible for the Life is Strange series, the twins have a supernatural power where they can connect memories of which they use to investigate the history of their childhood. However, throughout the story, you must make choices which will bond the siblings together or draw them apart. A huge thing to know about this game, it's the first AAA title to feature a trans character as one of their lead roles. You can play as both twins respectfully, but I found during my first playthrough, I preferred the storyline where I was playing Tyler as I felt the stakes were far higher for him. I know exactly what it feels like to come home after a significant amount of years feeling changed and out of place. I may or may not have also been shipping him and Michael. I'm shameless, I know. That's it, that's the list. I worked really, really hard on this video, so I'd really appreciate it if you gave us a little like, maybe we come and let me know what you thought. And whilst you're here, why not subscribe? A lot of you watch my videos, but you're not subscribed. It's free, it's, you know, just cl click the little button below, do it. Um, let us know how you're celebrating Pride this month. But yeah, in the meantime, have a good one. Happy Pride, bye.